right now I'm going to show you how to run process using a thermal couple. I already turned on the facility, CDA cooling is on, water is on, gas is on, and now I've already connected the, uh, the thermal couple. So basically, here's the lamp power, and you have to reset bypass the cabinet over interlock switch. So you'll be able to turn off the lamp power. So I'm gonna place a dummy wafer and run a, uh, a simple thermal couple process. So make sure the the thermal couple, the wire, the wire that's attracted to magnet has to be on the left hand side. The one that's not attracted to magnet, it's on the right hand side. So when you place the wafer on top of the thermal couple, make sure when you when you push in the door, the wire doesn't touch the bottom. Close the door. And now I'm gonna set up the recipe. So right now I'm in diagnostic page. It shows the thermocouple temperature right now. It. Let's go to process for engineer. I'm just gonna set up a uh, simple thermal couple recipes. So make sure when you're running with the uh, thermal couple, you have to use uh, the sensitized HSP thermal couple. Just select the recipes and then you can go ahead and start the process. software is trying to control the intensity and right now the temperature is at 200 degrees. a little bit of one to two at 400 degrees but we can make changes to the recipe to correct the undershoe. So basically this recipe goes from 200 degrees to 400 degrees then to 600 degrees. Uh, starting to ramp. So here is your actual temperature. Here is your intensity level. Uh, a little bit on the shoes at 600.
process is finished, it's in cooling down. Notice the temperature is starting to drop. It means the, the lamp has been turned off. Right now the wafer is cooling down and then the temperature is about 230 degrees. So I just let the uh, wafer cool down and wait till the process finished and we're going to take off the wafer. So that's basically the process using thermocouple.